Hello there, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online for another housing tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a custom stable. Now, there is a stable furnishing item, but unfortunately, it is only available through the crown store. And for 1,800 crowns, you don't get a whole lot here. Most of these items are really cheap, easy to come by in the game. Obviously, the three crown lessons, but I don't need those. The straw pile would be nice, I guess. Uh, this watering trough is also a crown store exclusive, so I wouldn't mind having that, but 2,000 crowns for this watering trough and this stable, I guess it's called a shed technically, doesn't quite cut it for me, even though this is a pretty nice looking piece. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own stable without having to spend a single crown. Now I can't do this with a single furnishing, but the basic structure only requires eight furnishings. And most of these are super easy to come by. So starting with these elsewhere pillars here, which you can pick up from the home goods vendor in Northern Elsewhere, these are gonna form the uh, support struts of our stable. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of rough them in here, throw down four, and there you go. So that's kind of the outline of the stable. Now the next thing that I wanna do is down here in structures platforms, is I'm gonna use three of these elsewhere platforms, the smaller ones. These are crafted item. They can be slightly pricey, just a few thousand gold because of the uh, ingredients required to make them. Uh, but the recipe is easy to come by. So if you don't mind running a few elsewhere dailies, then you can craft them yourself here. So I'm gonna do one on the back, probably about that high. And then for the sides, I'm actually gonna flip it vertical, just like that, and tuck it in right there, and tuck the other one in on the other side here. So we are already most of the way there. That's seven of the eight pieces. We just gotta throw a roof on it now. And I will be using the Solitude Shed Wood Lean To slot it into place here. So depending on how tall you want your stable to be, I think this is a pretty good height. Now I'm gonna adjust these pillars so that the height actually makes sense. So this one needs to go up a little bit. Now these two in the front, I think I want to bring down. All right, so there is our basic stable shape. From here, it's just a matter of decorating it. So the first thing that I wanna add is a feeding trough. And luckily we have a couple of options here, although we don't have one that's filled with water like that crown store one. And then I need to add some lighting. Now, before we throw some mounts in here, uh, I did find that these rough hay beds look sort of decent as the, the ground floor in the stable. Uh, now we can go ahead and throw some mounts in there. And I think this size fits two guars pretty nicely. So that's it. Now, uh, the only thing left that you could do would be to add some vegetation around. All right, so here is the just about finished stable. So again, you could find whatever ferns or other accessories you wanna add here. You could fill up that trough with food for them. Uh, I believe guars are omnivorous, so you could have any sort of veggies in there or fish and it would be allure friendly. There you go, that is the, uh, the eight piece furnishing stable uh, with some extra bits and pieces to sort of dress it up. If you get four of those elsewhere pillars plus three of the small elsewhere platforms and one of the solitude lean-tos, you've got yourself a stable without having to spend a single crown here in the Elder Scrolls Online. But maybe this one isn't quite big enough for you. And uh, I've actually got another design to show you guys for a stable that's about twice the size. Let's head over here and uh, I'm gonna build the larger version of this stable right here. guys, I made a few more tweaks off camera just to get all of the pieces lined up a little bit better, but here is the completed large stable. So again, we're starting with just five of those elsewhere pillars, four of the elsewhere small platforms, two of the solitude lean-tos, and then for this one, I've added four of the elsewhere defense spikes. And then for the ground, using some of those hay bedding piles, 
uh, along with a couple of the solitude troughs here in the back with some pumpkins in them. Uh, and then I've filled it with uh, my Indrik collection. So that is it. That is the complete large stable. And you can build this in your house with just a few furnishing slots and then decorate it or adorn it with whatever you have available. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I'm Cal, and I do hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial video. If you'd like to check out some of my other Elder Scrolls Online content, I'll have a couple of my favorite videos linked in the end screen. Thank you for checking out today's video and have fun putting your own stable together. If you're new around here, I do hope you'll stick around for the next one. I'll be back again real soon with more ESO content. Bye for now, everybody.